For anyone driving Utah roads, chances are you've driven over a few manhole covers. Sometimes you feel the bump, sometimes it's barely noticeable. But as KSL investigator Mike Hedrick shows us, sometimes it leaves you with the $6,000 damage into your car that no one wants to pay. It was insane. I was just heading from my town home, heading up Redwood to come to work, and all of a sudden, bam. We've all got that one friend, right? It sounded like a bomb went off. You know what I'm talking about, who's always got a story. A little overly dramatic. And I'm not trying to be dramatic or anything. A little over the top. Like, when it hit, it was like those safari videos when a rhinoceros, like, pounds into the side of the car. And let's be honest here, a little hard to believe. And then you realize that you were about that close to being decapitated by a manhole cover. Brian Metzler has got a wild tale involving a flying manhole cover documented by police diagrammed on paper and witnessed by... And then it flew behind us. Now, witnesses. Flying through the air, this huge manhole cover. And as unbelievable as it sounds, there is one thing you absolutely cannot question. Yeah, video evidence. I had no idea that was even a possibility that that could physically happen. It's crazy, right? Rewind, slow it down, put this video on a loop because understanding the physics behind this 150 pound iron frisbee gone rogue is one thing. When it went. Determining who's responsible yeah. to make things right. Yeah, it's a lot of money. May be a little more complicated. I just don't understand why they can't admit that they just didn't do their job. Okay, so before we get into the who did or did not do their job, Let's take a quick drive through South Valley. We can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay, okay. Just trust me on this one. There is a ridiculous number of manhole covers lining the streets. And a good chunk of those covers. We've got about 26,000 manhole covers. Are owned and operated by South Valley Sewer. They install them. They maintain them. And Craig White will be the first one to tell you once in a while. Make sure it's solid. Make sure the lid is flush. These heavy steel discs can pop off. And we have very few of those, but we do occasionally have some. Nearly a year ago, one of these covers popped off and cracked in half. It was on Redwood Road in South Jordan and three days before Brian Metzler's incident in that very same spot. A driver running over it, telling police the cover sounded like it exploded and saw in the rear view the manhole cover in the air falling to the ground. Our only involvement in the situation was to respond to the immediate public safety need, uh, which was the hole in the road. Rachel Van Cleve is with South Jordan City and says their public works team made a quick fix, replacing the broken sewer cover with one of their own. It's a standard size manhole cover, which is 24 and 3 fourths inches, the same exact size as South Valley sewers. Uh, unfortunately, it appeared that it was the wrong lid, put on a lid probably for a storm drain as opposed to sanitary sewer. So, in attempt to clear things up, 24 and 3 quarters, we compared covers between South Jordan City, 24 inches and 3 quarters, and South Valley Sewer, and guess what? Regulation. They measure out exactly the same, which means the cover that originally popped off and cracked had the exact same dimensions as the replacement that shot out just a few days later. And if you're wondering, why in the world is that important? And then we got denied. They didn't think it was their fault. Absolutely nobody was taking responsibility for the damage. They just flat out said no. To any of the cars involved. It was like weeks and weeks of getting denied. Now that right there is Nicole Giles. Not just a witness, but she was in the car that shot that cover out. Blowing a tire, cracking the rim, and jacking up the undercarriage. Who is responsible in a situation like this? It, it certainly isn't you. Everybody was just pointing fingers at everyone else, saying it wasn't their fault, it was so-and-so's fault. So-and-so put on one of our manhole covers, so it's their fault. You know, honestly, Brian and Nicole really do not care who's at fault. They just want someone to take responsibility. But the hang-up is this. South Jordan does not want to pay out thousands of dollars when they're not responsible for the sewer company's manhole. I will say that the infrastructure around it is what caused the manhole covers to pop up. And on the flip side, South Valley Sewer says the city never should have tried fixing the issue on their own. You have an emergency number where there's somebody on call. That is correct. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Nobody called that number. Nobody called that number. So... Here we are. That's the one. That's the one that got me. Nearly a year to the day of the accident. You have a little PTSD? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> and what originally sounded like a tall tale from our good friend Brian. I remember what it sounded like, and I remember what it felt like. Has finally been resolved.
Not because of the documents, not because of the diagrams, heck, not even because of this crazy video. Sometimes it just takes one person. Be a pain. Like, don't, like, don't just go away. Getting a little bit of help. Ultimately, it's your manhole cover. Correct. Who is responsible? Demanding someone take responsibility. Not necessarily taking full responsibility, but agreeing to split the damages. That eventually blows the lid off the situation. South Jordan City and South Valley Sewer have agreed to split the cost of the damage to Brian's car. Oftentimes these requests go to an insurance agency hired by the city or business and get denied. And South Valley Sewer says if Brian would have appealed after the first denial, chances are it wouldn't have taken a couple of calls from the KSL investigators to resolve the problem. But Brian says he was never told he could appeal.